Connect Primary 5 Term 2 Audio السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الإعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد إن شاء الله Listen and repeat 1 Bank 2 Factory 3 Monument Four Library Five Shopping Mall Six Square Seven Station Museum Market Beach Supermarket Hotel Restaurant Mint tea Local cuisine Spend ages Originally On vacation Egypt England Germany Alexandria Fayoum Cairo Barcelona Stores Tourist Garden roof Chatting Relaxing Amazing Excellent Culture Yet Sweet Exciting Ingredients Friendly the pyramids School trip Traditional food Fresh Modern buildings Traditions Shopping Swimming Mix of Listen and read Who is from Alexandria? Why we love Alexandria Alexandria is a really exciting place to visit. There is a lot to see and do here. It's a big city with lots of amazing restaurants, stores, markets, and museums. There is even a beach. We asked some people who live there and tourists what they think. I'm visiting Alexandria from Germany. I think it's really cool here. I think there are some good museums, but I haven't been to any yet. I love just uh, sitting in the roof garden of my hotel, drinking sweet Egyptian mint tea and chatting to other people. It's very relaxing. I've lived in Alexandria all my life. I own a restaurant here, so I have to say that you must visit my restaurant to try some of the local cuisine. We serve traditional Egyptian food using lovely fresh local ingredients. We have excellent supermarkets, but I prefer to buy my ingredients at the market in the old town. We're from a small town in England. The stores aren't very good there. That's what we love most about Alexandria. The shopping malls. We spend ages walking around them. We like the people. They are so friendly. I'm Egyptian, originally from Cairo. I moved to Alexandria last year and I love it here. I work in a bank. My favorite place is the beach. 
there isn't one in Cairo. It can get very hot here in summer, so it's great to go there and swim. I'm on vacation here from Barcelona. I like Alexandria because it reminds me of home, a big modern city near the sea. I love the mix of modern and old buildings. Also, I like to find out about the culture and traditions. The library is amazing. One, Sara. I'm going to visit my aunt and uncle. We're going by train. Two, Ahmad. My cousin is visiting us, and we're going to show him around. He's never seen the pyramids. Three, Dina. We went on a school trip to find out how cotton is turned into clothes like t-shirts and dresses. Four, Yusuf. I want to borrow some books. Evidence Monuments Paintings Artifacts Hieroglyphics Tombs Ancient Egypt Buildings Clearly Daily life, facts, feasts, important people, information, objects, papyrus, signs, special events, occasions, scenes, structures, true, vase, Walls, water carriers, writing symbols. Look, listen, and read. Have you seen any of these things? How do we know so much about life in ancient Egypt? There is lots of evidence that tells us about life in ancient Egypt. Evidence is facts or signs that show clearly that something exists or is true. We can learn about buildings from ancient monuments. These are structures that were built to celebrate important people. Artifacts are things from daily life, like vases and water carriers, that tell us how people lived. Paintings are on walls or on papyrus. They show scenes of daily life, such as farmers working in the fields, or special occasions, such as feasts and special events. Hieroglyphics are ancient Egyptian writing symbols and pictures. From hieroglyphics, we can get evidence about life in ancient Egypt. Pharaohs and other important people were buried in beautiful tombs. These also had other things people thought they might need and information about their life. Environment Trash Flower Trash Can Alexandria Library Moment Everybody Quietly. 
Upstairs. Elevator. Button. Loudly. Shelf. Jacket. Swimming short. Voice. Librarian. Tomorrow. Unkind. Lesson. Password. Clean. Wait a moment. Don't run. Walk quietly. Go into the elevator. Stand back. Push the number one button. Wear your jacket, please. Don't write it in the house, please. Don't forget to bring your swimming shorts. Lower your voice, please. Keep the environment clean. Don't jump up and down. Listen and read. Where are the children going? Okay, children. We're here now. This is the Alexandria Library. Wow, it's amazing. Can we go inside? Wait a moment. Is everybody here? Yes. Okay. Let's go in. I'm going first. Don't run, Ollie. Walk quietly. This is a very important place. I'm sorry. Can we go upstairs to the children's library? Yes. Go into the elevator. Good. Stand back. The doors are closing. Don't jump up and down, Ali. Push the number one button, Tarek. Great. Thank you. We're going up. Recognize. Lost. Strange looking. Tell the truth. Entertain. Creature. Foolish. Apologize. Villager. Walk far. Sacks of beans. Road. Ibis. Land. Branches. Anyway. Snake. Even. Unkindly. Crowds. Dark. Enormous. Jerboa. Rudely. Sounds. Traitors. Listen and read. Which animal does Gabby meet first? Gabby learns a lesson. One day, a villager wanted to sell his beans in the market, but he couldn't walk far. His camel, Gabby, said, Give me the sacks of beans. I will take them to the market for you. Gabby walked along the road. He turned left, and then right, and then left again. Soon, Gabby didn't recognize the road. Are you lost? called an ibis. Gabby had never seen such a strange-looking bird. No, I'm not lost, pretended Gabby. Gabby didn't know that the ibis could fly high above the land and tell him the way. Gabby saw a snake, watching him from the branches of a tree. You look lost, said the snake. No, I'm not, said Gabby. Again, he wasn't telling the truth. Anyway, even if I was, you can't help. 
You haven't even got legs, he said unkindly. Gabby didn't know that the snake went to the market every day to entertain the crowds. It began to get dark. Gabby saw a little animal on the road in front of him. What a funny looking creature! Look at those enormous ears! he thought to himself. Hello! said the jerboa. Do you need any help? No, I don't, replied Gabby rudely. Gabby didn't know that the jerboa could hear the sounds of the market traders. Okay, good night then, called the jerboa. Soon, it was completely dark, and Gabby understood he needed the animal's help. He knew he was foolish, and he was sorry. He decided to go to sleep, and to apologize and ask for their help the next day. Listen and repeat. Go. Show. Bite. Write. Boy. Toy. Make. Play. Exercise 2. Look at the table. Listen again and say. Go. Show. Bite. Right. Boy. Toy. Make. Play. Exercise 3. Listen and say. Write the words in the correct places in the table. One, ache, two, below, three, eight, four, bake, five, coin, six, Time. Seven. Grow. Eight. Bike. Nine. Enjoy. Ten. Wrote. Eleven. Write. Twelve. Point. Tourist attractions. Relaxing. Delicious. Cairo. London. New York. Water park. Park. Zoo. Markets. Restaurants, shopping malls, location, history, culture, arts, things, places, Buckingham Palace, theaters, British Museum, boat trip, middle, international park, Archaeological Center Shade The River Thames Bridges
walking around. Worry. Plenty. It doesn't matter. Treasures. New alumine. Picnics. Amazing. Beautiful. Cool. Exciting. Famous. Fascinating. Fun. Large. Negative. Positive. Perfect. Wonderful. This is one of the most exciting cities in the world. It often rains here, but it doesn't matter because there are lots of fun things to do. You can go on a big red bus and visit amazing tourist attractions. You will see famous places like Buckingham Palace, theaters, and the British Museum. You can take a relaxing boat trip on the River Thames and go under the famous bridges. All the walking around will make you hungry. But don't worry, there are plenty of different restaurants to choose from. You can find delicious food from all over the world here. There are many exciting things to do in New Alamein. The city is on the beach, so you can visit the cool sea when it's hot. This beautiful beach is 14 kilometers long. There is also a large, green lake right in the middle of the city. You can also visit the beautiful International Park. If you want to learn about the fascinating history of the area, then visit the Archaeological Center. There are some amazing treasures there. I can't wait to see you in New Alamein. Our Perfect Town In our perfect town, there is a big zoo right next to the school. We can go there every afternoon after classes. We can help to feed the animals. It is really hot in our town, so there is a water park that is always open. It's free to go in. There is a wonderful market that sells all kinds of delicious food, like fresh bread and fresh fruit and vegetables. There is a big park with lots of trees so we can go for family picnics in the shade. This is our perfect town.